Hello there. This is the family doctor. Hi, Marvin. How's the little chickadee today? <laughs> oh, come on. Can't you lay off that chicky and chickadee stuff now? You've had your fun. All right, then I'll quit. Thanks, pal. Well, what did you have this time? Need you ask? My usual chocolate malt, of course. Okay. Say, uh, I've been in your town almost a week now, and you've never introduced me to those two neat-looking little babes that passed the store the first day I was here. No? Well, that's funny, isn't it? Oh. Oh, now I get it. Do, huh? Right clever of the lad. <laughs> You're sweet on one of them, aren't you? Well, maybe I am. Well, which one? I'll lay off her. Either one's good enough for me to date while I'm in Cedarton. Which one, huh? Yeah. Which one do you go for? Oh, come on. You can tell a pal. Well, well, I don't know. You don't know? Nope. I've gone out with both of them at various times, and well, I don't know which I like best. Well, uh, in that case... I can take my choice. I don't know now. Oh, come on, chick. I'll tell you. Why not double date? Double? Well, what do you mean? Here's your malt. Oh, I mean you take one and I'll take the other. Oh, and the four of us go out somewhere together, huh? Yeah, that's the idea. Well, that wouldn't be bad. Okay. Swell. Then I'll take the little one. Hey, that's Faith Wins, I... I thought you said I could take the one and you'd take the other. <laughs> what I really meant, pal, was that I'd take my choice and you'd take the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Forrest. Hey, 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 pipe down. Here they come. Oh, pardon me. Yes. I guess we were a little noisy. <laughs> uh, uh, Miss Windsor and Miss Bliss, this is Mr. Forrest. Oh, please to meet you, Mr. Forrest. Marvin, this is... Faith and Ella Mary. <laughs> Glad to know you. This is quite a town you have here. Oh, do you think so? Well, we get a little fed up with Cedarton sometimes. Yes, I guess we do. <laughs> oh, well, of course, it isn't like the city, but it's all right in its way. They've got some pretty nice people here. Oh, do you really think so, Mr. Forrest? Uh, you bet I do. And you can just call me Marvin. All right, Marvin. Now, uh, that's better. Faith? <clears throat> um, uh, oh, say, girls, um, uh, Marvin suggested that we all go out together some evening soon. Oh, my, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> oh, but where'd we go? Well, there's a, a dance over at Dunlap tomorrow night. Could we go there? Well, why not? Oh, yeah, let's. Well, I don't know. I've got to ask Mama. Well, yes, and I, I guess maybe I'll have to ask my mother, too. Say, what's the matter? How far is this Dunlapburg, anyway? Oh, about 20 miles or so. What? 20 miles? Then you'll have to ask your folks. Well, Mr. Forrest, if that's so unpleasant to you, we, we'll just call the whole thing off. Oh, oh, now, wait a minute, Faith. I didn't mean anything by that. As a matter of fact, I'm glad to have you ask your mothers. I'll tell you, really, it's quite a relief to find people like you after some of the gals that I've had to go out with. Oh, is that so? Well, if you're such a gad about Mr. Forrest, maybe we certain girls will be too dull for you. Oh, my gosh. What have I said now? <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Ella Mary Bliss. <laughs> oh, I think it is. What? Faith, you know we all want to go over to the dance at Dunlap tomorrow night. Well, 
Then what are we all quarreling about? Well, <laughs> I, I guess maybe Ella Mary's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, here comes Dr. Adams. He's a good scout. Let's ask him what he thinks about it. All okay. right. Good idea. Yeah. Hello, folks. Oh, Hi, Dr. Adams. Oh, yeah. Where's Pete May, Chick? Mm, out getting a little lunch, I guess. Oh, I see. Well, I'll leave this prescription with you. Ask him to fill it, and then you can take it over to the webs, if you will. Sure. Oh, uh, Dr. Adams. Yes, Faith? <laughs> well, do you think... Well, well I mean... Uh, well, I mean, what would you say if... Uh, well... Oh, I'll <laughs> ask him. Say, what is this? What are you girls and boys getting at? <laughs> well, Doctor, we, we'd we all like to go over to... to uh, Dunlap. Yeah, to Dunlap. To the dance tomorrow night. Huh? What about it? Well, I want to take Faith, and Chick wants to take Ella Mary. Yeah? Do you think their mothers will let them go? Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm to be the oracle, eh? It's up to old Dr. Adams to deliver himself of a prophecy. Is that it? Well, Doctor, you, you always know what everybody thinks in Cedarton, uh, even before they do themselves. Oh, do I? Sure you do. Well, I'll tell you what I think. Then you can draw your own conclusion. Oh, yeah. When I was a boy on my father's farm years ago... Ah, uh, not so many years ago, Doctor. <laughs> yes, a good many years. But anyway, down on the farm, we used to raise a lot of pretty good horses. My father was very proud of them. And he had a right to be. When a horse left our farm, it was under full control. Well-trained. A thoroughbred. No matter what purpose the horse was trained for, it was under control. Whether it was for a racing stable down in Kentucky, a riding academy up in Chicago, or whether the horse was to be used in farm work, it was a thoroughbred. You know what I mean, Chick. You used to be a jockey. Yes, sir. Well, doing my share in training those horses, one thing I found out was this. The young colts could never learn by reason. They always had to learn one thing or another by habit. They had to try and mistake out five or six times before they found out they, they weren't going to be allowed to get away with it. Then they'd come around to doing things our way. And then, when I got to studying medicine and folks, I found out that the difference between horses and people was this. Horses have to learn right from wrong by the old animal method of trial and error. While people can learn right from wrong by... By the experiences of others. By reason. Folks are able to get themselves under control by thinking things out for themselves. Horses can't. Did I make myself clear? I... I think you did, Doctor. Mm -hmm. All I meant to end up by saying was that if these young ladies think they've convinced their folks by this time that they've got themselves under control, well, I think you'll all be able to take in that dance over at Dunlap tomorrow night. Hello? Yes, this is Dr. Adams' resident. Oh, the doctor's retired. What? Oh, just a minute, please. Hold the wire a minute. Grant. Grant, wake up. Huh? Grant, it's an emergency. Huh? What was that? An emergency. Uh, oh, oh, all right, honey. Hey, on the phone, are they? Yes, it's young Chick Harper from the Mays Drugstore. What? Uh, all right. Hello? Yes, Chick? Yes? Oh, all right, Chick. Uh, there'll be somebody right there. And I'll get down as soon as I can. It's all right. Hello? Hello? It's... Say, say, this is Dr. Adams. Yes, yes, call the county hospital at Dunlap and have them send the ambulance out to the Cloverton Crossroad. Yes, an accident. Tell the hospital I'll be right there. Great. An accident? Yes. 
Uh, make me a cup of tea while I'm dressing, Lou. Who was hurt? I don't know yet. Chick said the car turned over twice. Honey, from what he said, I'm afraid. Oh, great. Ella, Mary, and Faith are in that car, along with Chick and that new young fellow, Marvin Forrest. Oh, well, uh, I'll get the tea. Gosh, to Friday, a young colt. The poor kids. <laughs> How is he, Dr. Adams? How's Marvin? He's in very bad shape, Chick. Oh, gosh. You and the girls were lucky. Yeah. Where... Well, where are the girls, Doctor? Oh, they're all right. Nothing wrong with them except nerves. They're resting now. And... And Marvin? Chick, he's got to have a transfusion right away. Transfusion? You mean... Well, well, Doc, will I do? Are you game? Well, sure. Sure, sure, let's go. All right, come on, then. I'll give you a test. He's all right. Anything else, Doctor? Uh, No, no, that's all. Yes, sir. Jump, jump. Jump, I tell you, jump! Now, listen, young fella. Nobody's going to jump, especially you. Huh? Oh. Oh, Dr. Adams, huh? Yes, Marvin. Oh, hello. Gee, I'm sorry, Doctor. I kind of let you down, didn't I? Did you? Yeah, I, I guess I did. I guess I'm... I no better than one of those young colts you were talking about. I think I've learned now. I think you have, too. Is, is everybody else all right? Yep, everybody's all right. Oh, that's good. You know, Marvin, I guess this is partly my fault, too. Your fault? What? What do you mean, Dr. Adams? I mean, I talked a lot about horses being out of control. I said a lot of things trying to convince you young folks that people can get out of control, too. But, you know, I forgot to say anything about automobiles. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs> 